ran out of space, y'all had to do some deleting. Videos is going up. So as I was saying, it looked like they beat some poor brown skin lady's ass for not wearing a mask. It's a travesty. Look at my video. Mask thing look pretty obvious. It's optional. I ain't hear no good old Americans getting their ass beat. It's a simple thing to do. I keep you niggas in line. And make sure you niggas stay in line. That's a message. Sent via internet, via television. Just like that black kid who got beat up in Lower East Side the Avenue, right? That's how they handle it, y'all. Somehow you still want to stay here. Want to be his best friend. Clean his house, do his laundry. Raise their kids. Serve them lunch and serve them dinner. Y'all winning, man. Y'all winning. Look at this nigga in here doing their work. Look. I want to go to the bank. I want to go in there with this black guy standing there hanging out. Breathing COVID all night. Bringing that shit home to his family. He's going to look at me like a fucking alien when I walk in the bank to get my money. That's where I keep my money at. Look, he's black. That's, who's, that's how they getting COVID-19. They're not going to tell you that. They're not going to sit down and say, listen. We put the motherfuckers on the front line and get shot first. So we expected a few of them to get, you know, we expected a few of them to die. That's why they stayed home and told you to do it. And you was dumb enough to do it because you used to get the paycheck. I get it. I get it. So it is either that or live in the streets. And nobody wants to live out here during Corona time. They just like, nah, man, crazy. No coronas outside my door. I ain't going out there. Matter of fact, I'm not even going to get no money for the bank. I'm going to get some food the other night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to get breakfast, y'all. Got to break fast for my breakfast. Anyway, so, as I was saying, you know, beat some poor lady's ass. Not wearing a mask. That's tragic, man. Trying to get on their train with no man. You trying to put money in their pocket and they beat you up for it. Yo, my heart goes out to you. I feel bad for you, sister. Get well, feel better. Make the example. Don't settle. Make them pay for it. every fucking thing they got. Don't settle. Tell them settlements for suckers. You want every dime of your money with interest. They beat you up for nothing. You might as well get paid for it. You know, most boxers get paid for it. You make six million dollars get punched in their face. On pay-per-view. Look into it. And lie to you. You got the time, energy, or the benefits of lying to you. Don't get nothing for lying to y'all. They got a whole country. All they had to do was lie to you. They got all your money, all they had to do was lie to you. Look, you want the free garbage, look. Look at the restaurant, oh, they look good, look, you should take those off. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take those, yeah. We can still eat these, look. Free food. Free food, y'all. If you ever up this way, you get free rotten vegetables. Courtesy of Alibaba's. You think free rotten food. Sitting right there on the corner, y'all. Put it right there on the corner. Anytime y'all want some free rotten fruit. Anybody's homeless, who's hungry, you don't mind eating rotten food. Find your way up here to Chatham Square. Manhattan, come on every morning, there'd be a boxes of rotten fruit on the corner for you to pick from. From oranges, apples, bananas, they put it all out. Well, first, you gotta pay. That's the American way. American way. You want fresh foods? You gotta pay for it. The rotten food's on sale. In their case, it's on the corner on the street. The stale is always on sale, y'all. Manager special. That's right. It's $15 for this steak. Because it's spoiled, give us $5. If it rots another day, we'll give it to you for $2.50 tomorrow.
See, I take the back streets, y'all. Y'all see that? I'm in these back streets. You know what I mean? I take the back streets because the police like to follow you through the open front streets, which is where they prefer you to walk at. You know what I mean? Stay where I can see you, darky. Stay where I can see you. We heard you guys are thieves. Yeah, yeah, we heard. They stole all your gold, your land, your diamonds, but they said we got to watch you guys. You still potato chips and candy bars. Got to keep an eye on you. Heard you snatch chains and stuff like that. We got to watch you. Bunch of drug dealing, goddamn broke ass ex-slaves. It's derogatory. They treat you like shit and you're paying for it. Only in America. You get to treat your money like garbage and still collect it. Treat you like garbage and still collect your money. What a sap you are. When you get done with me, you'll be a little wiser, a little more stern. I know. I said, we don't like when Jeff gets stern with us, B. That's like when your mama told you, yo, you stink, take a bath. When's the last time you washed your ass? You was a little salty, but you know, he's like, yo, good looking. <laughs> good looking out, huh? That's what I'm at. First, you're gonna be a little salty, but then in the end, you'll be like, damn, good looking out, Jeff. You was right. I see there is a difference in this country between us and them. You know what I mean? You gotta peep that, you see that? You see a black nigga, you put his mask on, he passing white people all day not wearing masks. Racism. He don't breathe the same air as me when he's walking without that mask. Which is why when they dying, I'm laughing. I know, I know you and Jeff, it's not a laugh, this is not a laughing matter. Somebody's gotta fucking laugh, all you crying, weeping little willows. Don't sit around crying. Oh, they're losing their lives. This is such a travesty. What are we gonna do? You're gonna die slow. Some of your cases, you're gonna die fast. But then in any case, you, you think about it, you know, you say, oh, I was kind of an asshole, so bigot, racist motherfucker, you know, didn't really do shit for my fellow man, you know. I, I, yeah. yeah, basically, you was a waste of space anyway, so. Check that box. Bunch of ticket. It's another one bites the dust. Just another one biting dust. You know what I mean? Cooking souls. Cooking souls. On slow simmer. Black, they like, fuck that, keep driving. Fuck that nigga, let him wait for us. And this is a closed street. For pedestrians, pedestrians, because I learned, when I, you know, driving, the pedestrian has the right of way. Not the vehicle, but the pedestrian. I want y'all to pay attention to certain things that you're gonna be oblivious to, like, oh shit, this nigga is right. There's nothing courteous, professional, or respectful about what they just did. This is an on your ass production. Sponsored by me. See me, my hand skills is ill. Without a gun, I will fuck you all the way up, nigga. My 50s, and I will fuck you all the way up. I will beat fucking flames off you, nigga. In my 50s, and I'm more than a half a century old. Respect it. I ain't get this old being soft with some hard shells. And I'll crack your fucking Taco Bell shell right open, nigga. Now heed the warnings, man. From a civilized savage. You say, damn, he speaks eloquent. He's very civil, respectful, funny. But then there's that side of him that's like, I don't know, it's dark. Yeah, the only thing that's faster than the speed of light is the speed of dark, children. That's what's faster than the speed of light. I let it go. The cat's loose out the bag. You heard? They're not gonna tell you that, but I'm gonna tell you. You know what's faster than the speed of light? The speed of dark. That's right, that black hole sucking whole fucking goddamn galaxies in. Lights, some fucking, your sun, your, all that shit gets sucked in, motherfucker. And the light don't escape. It got pulled into a black hole. 
So I'm gonna tell you, before I swallow you into this black hole, you heard? I read them scrolls, opened them books, said the words out loud. Now, I could put the curse in reverse. Fuck that, why should I? Huh? Hey, right now, you're going in there, yo, what scrolls this nigga fuck with? What books you read? What's he talking about? You didn't know that? No fucking voodoo. Fuck your black magic. Been here before all that shit. I got something for your ass. I got something for your ass. You know what's gonna happen next? I'm gonna start punching tickets in boxes. Wait till the summer. Ooh, I'm gonna have fun with y'all. This whole summer. By the end of the summer, you're gonna be locked in your house in the corner. Shake it. Boy, yo. Somebody find that motherfucker and ask her to put this curse in reverse. Before there's none of us left. We survived slavery, lynchings, burnings, fucking tidal waves, floods. We survived that shit. Black mother. You know, same niggas you call black. We've been here. You just got here. Been around here for about, I don't know, 80 million years. Motherfuckers go back a couple of decades in history. Huh? They told that nigga when he heard he said that first albino, we should, we should take this baby out in the woods and kill it. And he said, nah, listen, man, me and my wife having sex. How can we have this pale baby, blue eyes, white hair, pale skin, called an albino? And we didn't kill it. But it was unstable. Shaman knew. He said it's sick, has mental issues, has problems. And if you're thinking what I'm saying is a bunch of crock, you gotta look back. You have to simply look back in history and say, yo, they held black people in slavery for over 200 years. 400 years. These niggas beat, mobbed, raped, made them work for free. And somehow you never stop to say, yo, there's something mentally wrong with this race of people. Like, you really got to be mentally fucked up. If you did that right now, if somebody snatched your child, right, murdered your whole family, put your child in slavery, you'd be like, yo, what kind of fucked up individual is this? You know, we're going to fucking, we're going to give this nigga the death penalty. He's enslaving people, killing people, raping women. But here you praise them. You give them streets, boulevards, holidays, and never went to correct the error, which tells me that psychologically, Mentally, you're still not ready. You're still mentally sick, psychologically sick. And at some point, we're gonna have to treat your illness. Well, Dr. Jeffrey is here. Dr. Jeffrey's here. I'm treating your sickness right now. First step is admitting you have a problem. That's your first step. Once you first look in the mirror and say, I am a piece of shit fucked up, sick individual with no respect for my human man. I don't want you to kill yourself. I want you to heal yourself. When I was young, I preferred to kill yourself. So every year you hear me in the streets. My happy new year and I be screaming, kill yourself. This is what I really wanted you to do. I wanted you to drink enough alcohol or do something so reckless that you would kill yourself so the, the next year we'd have one less idiot to deal with. It's just my logic. It's just my logic. Man, boo. Shit, it's crazy, your body. Mm. Man. See that? Black sisters don't even say, I mean, I was young. Mommy used to be like, good morning, brother. We be like, hello, sister, and that shit made us feel good. It put an urge to pep in your step. That's where that diddy bop came from. These bitches look at black niggas now like, Pfft. you ain't white, nigga. You ain't got shit. At least she's smart, smart enough to know who the thief is and who has everything. So this motherfucker stole everything. He has everything. Condos, money, cars. He don't even care about that shit. He's, fr he's frivolous with it. He doesn't care. He don't care for shit you stole. 
Well, I stole the shit. I don't care about it. Took it from that punk. Took it from his grandmother. I don't care about this shit. It's like, that nigga so crazy. He's just gonna he's doing anything. He crazy. Bitch, you crazy. You crazy. Dating your former slave master's ancestors. You, you were psychologically sick. I'm dressing you black people in this too. Yeah. That's right. Something psychologically sick or wrong with you. To want to walk and sit inside with the motherfucker. You, just got, you got to say, you know, I got to be fucked up in my head. I'm actually looking for a motherfucker who used to rape, kill, and enslave my people and stole all of our land. I'm looking to date one of those people. I need to date one of them. I know when you think about it, when it comes out of my mouth so simplified, you're like, damn, wow, shit. This nigga is right, B. I'm bugging, I'm tripping. For what? Material things? Money? Place to sleep? That's what we doing? Huh? Get all moral grounds. Just like, fuck it. Just put myself out there. Suck his dick, let him do what he wants to me. As long as you make sure I'm, 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 I got a place to lay down and do it. It's always the same thing. <laughs> let you in on the secret. The only reason why they're dating you right now is because they're infertile. They can't have babies. So they've been mixing their genes with the same genes for so long. That they babies are mongrels. They're coming out with old big heads all fucked up. Everybody. The kids is all fucked up. You hear me? I'm talking fucked all the way up. Their kids is coming out twisted. So now they're like, yo, we're going to have to make some of our genes to get the gene pool strong again. So you're going to see a lot of these little black white niggas. You know, these uh, Milano cookie niggas. Be a whole lot of Milanos being born. Right? You know, to get out of these Milanos is, you know, it, it, it's just a chance for our gene to continue while they're destroying your gene with cigarettes and liquor and alcohol and you know, all type of shit. You know, just trying to make sure you don't have a baby ever again. So there's a race war coming. I'm on the front line. I'm on the front line, you know what I'm saying? 50 years from now, you know, right now, this shit don't mean nothing to niggas, but 50 years from now, they're gonna go, yo, this guy Jeff read this shit like he was reading from chapters of a childhood book. He read all of this shit coming. I'm gonna be the last guy who was surprised they beating your ass for not wearing a mask. I'm the last guy who's surprised. Y'all all seem so shocked. I, I, I don't get it. You all seem so shocked, you yeah? know? That's it, and y'all host watch y'all 4K TVs like, oh my God, no. No, he beat that lady's ass. Oh, because she didn't wear a mask, huh? She wanted to ride the train? Oh my God. That shit shocked you. You should have seen what they were doing to you 200 years ago. You'd be appalled. Your fucking head is spinning. Thinking that's why they don't teach it to you in class now, you know what I'm saying? Give you a grasp of who they really are, right? Instead of Saint Nick and Santa Claus and all of this fictitious shit they made up, right? To put themselves in a better light. Like I said, you should stand on it. Like my ancestors, man, they, these niggas, they killed as many black niggas as they could. Stole as much of they shit as they could. Murdered as many of them as they could. And that's why we better off today. We killed, lynched, lynched, enslaved, Murdered, robbed, we took all they shit. And we did it for 20 years and now we're in a better place for them. You get more respect that way. You get more respect that way. Niggas say, yo, that's gangster. That's gangster. This nigga told me how his ancestors used to rob niggas and slave these motherfuckers, murder them. That is the most gangster shit. Yo, word. Then they open their books and start showing you pictures of them having barbecues, dancing, killing babies. Celebrating outside. We just killed a, a, a disrespectful nigga who didn't want to work for us for free. So we hung him from his tree and murdered his baby. Now I'm gonna go fuck his wife. Think about it. There was no NYPD to stop him. Right? 
to get it with impunity. And then they made the NYPD so they can continue to do it with impunity. These niggas, no, come on, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. These guidelines are in place to protect them, not you. Not you. Shit has nothing to do with you. Yeah. Ask them. Next time you see him, ask them. Um, listen, I want to be American. I want to get down with America. You know what I'm saying? I work hard, I pay taxes. Um, I do whatever I can to be a, a, a go to college. I'm going to do everything I have to to be a productive member of your society. And at the end of the day, you know what they're going to tell you? I understand that shit, but you're still not American. You're a Puerto Rican American. You're a Hispanic American. You're an Afro American. You're a Black American. You're Indian American. Asian American. And somehow y'all motherfuckers are so blind, so snowed in. You never saw it coming. Well, I'm the sun is melting your snow. You heard? I gotta melt that snow around you. Somebody's gotta do it. All right, and put you in a better place. Mentally. Put you on a better place. You know what I'm saying? Put them in a better light too. Let you see who they are. You know what I mean? Let you see who they are. I need the hour, I gotta get some medicine. 51. Yeah, I'll go up this way. I'll get my medicine for these things before they send my shit back. This COVID bullshit. You're crazy with it. They call you like, yo, get your drugs, get it out of our store, nigga, because we don't want you in. We heard about y'all. We heard the president told us that y'all niggas is carriers. I didn't tell you these niggas are the security guards, the police officers, the bus drivers, the cab drivers. The stock boy, the motherfucking nigga at the register serving the food, the nigga in the back cooking the food. They didn't say, yo, we're going to leave them on the front line, but we're going to fall back. We're going to fall back. That's what they did. He has more to protect. Right? All the stolen land, all the cotton. So, you know, you got shit you got to go back to. Big shit, man, I'm living in the projects. No one can say shit. I need my PlayStation to make money for a blunt, man. I'm going to work. Fuck that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I don't even live with you. Look at all these brown skin faces, these niggas. Carriers of COVID. And work outfits. You see the outfits that the others have working right now. I hope you watched the videos previously to this. You see kind of work is being done here, and who's doing the work, and what's being worked on. Okay? See how you standing there looking like these niggas is working. Oh my goodness. This why this is why I love my black woman. Sweet thing. Good lord, girl. They wouldn't have no ass and no breast. So why he's gonna rape me? You have no ass and no tits. What the fuck is you talking about? And you're, yeah, the ones who got weight on them is ugly as a motherfucker. They look like men with mustaches. I hear y'all laughing for me. Do that to me. I hear y'all laughing. Because you know what I said is true. He's like, Jeff is fucking Creole. This dude is a snap. He ain't fucking that fat. Mustache bearing bitch, line that shit up first, nigga. Might throw some dick in your mouth. That shit lined up. Look what that woman look like. That woman look like goddess. That's a tea. Know what I mean? That part. That part, nigga. That part. Won't put one of they pretty thick asses on TV. The bitch is 400 pounds, and she wanna sing. She right on TV. Beat it, watch the TV, pay attention to your idiot box. Right? Why they put that skinny anorexic, disgusting motherfucking skeletal looking bitch next to her? And they said, yeah, she's the personification, she's the personification of beautiful. Right? And that's what your average black woman looks like. Fat, wanna sing, overweight. That's what they put on TV, at least that's what I see. 
Do you see what I see? Now, the police are here all the time because you got the coalition for the homeless. And them homeless, they get out of line, bro. These homeless niggas be getting out of line. They want a place to live. They want to be outside with Corona. I have to beat your ass and take you to jail. <laughs> Yo, look, 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 look. There's Fulton the Street in the corner. There's coalition for the homeless. That's why they're here. Huh. They'll be here 24 hours. Won't leave. You fucking drugs, nigga. See? I see all the rubber gloves in that pillow. Handling the homeless, nigga. This, this, is how, this is how we make America great again. Gotta make this place great. Again. It's the lynch mob. Oh, shit. See how fast I step to them niggas? You run away from them. I step to these niggas. you like, yo, this nigga Jeff is crazy. Look at this nigga. Jeff is crazy for that. This nigga down niggas right on blast on his videos. That's the lynch mob. Can't fuck with a criminal. Are you guys here to pick up? Rapping over gangsta shit. I already loaded the clip. Don't make me make this hit, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Fucking hungry, bro. Should go down the block, get some money. Eat a hot meal. Yeah, let me go to the fucking bed. Cold cuts and bread and shit. Take some loot out this bank. Money in the bank. Money, money in the bank. Hungry, bro. I wish Blunkies was open. I would like to get the Blunkies number one. Subways, eat lettuce and tomatoes. Motherfuckers don't serve me for nothing. Fucking lynch mob in full effect. They told them hotel homeless is closed. So they parked right in front of the coalition for the homeless and round these niggas up. Part of my hand, y'all. I have to just microphone in front of my face. I'm wearing a mask. A mask avenger. He's here, folks. Don't worry. He's here. But how did you stop him? <laughs> That's what niggas said. But how do we stop him? The answer is you don't. He stops you. Every hero needs a villain. And I am the hero of this story. So that must make you. That's right. The villain. Who hates all heroes. And everything we do. Look at that black guy. Look at that. That's a fat black lady. See that white right there standing on the corner? Like, damn, y'all bitches is crazy, son. You ready to fuck her through the internet? Look at that. This is just average chicks on the corner. I'm just passing by. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that body. Look at that shape. Look at that ass. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. You seen that? See that? I go on this bank. Y'all niggas ain't still in my pen. I'm gonna shoot you in your face, nigga. Pause. And we're back. Fast cash. Action adventure, man. Yeah, man. They're gonna beat y'all black asses, bro. Look, workers. Runners of the city. And potential carriers of COVID-19. That's how they get it. Cleaning places like this. Running places like this. Mr. President won't tell you that, but I'm, 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 I'm telling you, I'm a snitch. Fuck out of here. I'm snitching. That's what I do. Straight telling on motherfuckers. 
You heard me? That's right, motherfucker. Come near me. I'm telling, bro. See that shit? They want to walk all close to you. See, when I knock your fucking teeth down your throat, nigga, I'll push your teeth back down your throat. You open your mouth and say anything to me, nigga. The lynch mob, the real lynch mob. We out here, nigga. So, yeah. I just say, por equas, morenos, getting it done, working on the demons, my brothers, my cousins, my friends. You see who's working out here, man? Do you see who's working out here? Huh? Look, he working. That he work, Alfie, look. That how you work? He go to the bank to get his stimulus, to pay his rent. The rest of these guys, you see that? Listen. That's the sound of men working. Listen. Listen! Thanking every one of the men right now. All those brothers over there right now, all these poor Negroes and black brothers are thanking them right now for risking their lives and running this city. Got a shout, yo, shout out to all them brothers, man. Stay safe. Stay safe, yo. Even if they don't never see the video. Man. They might not never see this video in their life. But somebody's gonna watch the video in the future and go, wow. Look at this dude Jeff is running around the city, showing us who was really running the city, still working in the city. And the TV was telling us, yo, stay away from them because they carry in COVID-19. I suggest they all go home. To their wives, to their kids. So these niggas kiss their ass, you want it done, you do it. I was doing it until this shit broke out, but now it's, it's a risk I might kill my family, so you go. I bet you all that shit will stop. You won't hear no work up there, pop. All those hammers and cars, you won't hear no work. That shit will stop. That shit will stop, man. It's hard to hear me in this one. That's why I took the mask off. It's windy out here, y'all. It's the power of nature. I have no, no, no powers over that. Uh, y'all niggas, it was windy, close the window. Get windy on my bench, nigga. You just better you fucking you better deal with it, nigga. Look, more potential terrorists of COVID-19. They look pretty black to me, or should I say brown skin? Look we'll over the body glass right here, work. There's somebody over there, bro. Let's see if he's white. Right. I had a good couple of them working. 